Hello and welcome to the iBooks Author Tutorial Series. In this video, I'm going to focus on the three tools across the top left side of your iBooks Author window. That is the Add Pages tool, the View tool, and the Orientation tool. Let's first take a look at adding pages. So in the top left corner of iBooks Author, you have a button with a plus, and this allows you to add more pages to your iBook. So if I click on this option, there are three choices of pages that I can add to my book. I can add chapters, sections, or pages. Let's take a look at each one. The first option is chapter. So you can organize your book into uh, multiple chapters, and here you can insert a new chapter into your book. So if I hover over chapter, I have two options. I can include a chapter, or I can insert a preface. If I wanted a a, a chapter 2 in my book, I just click on the chapter option and here you see chapter 2 have, has been added to my book and I can view it in my uh, layout. Okay, The second option is section. So you can further organize your book uh, not just by chapters but you can organize your uh, you can organize each chapter into, into numbered sections. So if you hover over the section option you can insert uh, just a plain section page a section page with all text, and then you have three more options, copyright, dedication, and forward, if you were to choose to include those in your book. So if I wanted to uh, include sections in my chapter two, I could choose the section option, and here under chapter two, I now have section one. And the third option to add pages are just uh, regular pages. If I hover over the pages option I can insert a plain default page or if I wanted a page with text I could create a one column, two column, or a three column page. And the last option is also a blank uh, sheet of paper, a, a blank page. Okay, The next tool across the left side of your iBooks author window is the view tool. So the view tool allows you to toggle different types of uh, toolbars and uh, viewing options uh, within your iBooks author window. Um, so if I wanted to see rulers along the top and sides of my page, I could turn on or show the ruler. And here I have a ruler where I could uh, uh, more easily measure things out as I'm creating my book. Um, you can also uh, uh, show or hide the format bar which looks like this. So if you're working on text, um, you can easily format that text by accessing the format bar. And uh, you can turn those options on and off. So you can either show or hide. Okay, the third option we're going to take a look at in this video is the orientation. Now, you can only switch between two orientations if you choose the uh, landscape with portrait template. That allows you to create a book in both orientations, both landscape and portrait. Uh, that's what I've chosen here. I have a template that is a landscape with portrait, and we're currently viewing the landscape version of this iBook as marked here in blue. And if I wanted to switch over to the portrait version of this textbook, which is formatted a little differently, I could click on that left option there. And now my iBook has converted to portrait view. And as you can tell, it looks very different. Um, so be aware of that if you choose this kind of template. And you can switch back and forth by clicking these two options. All right, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video in the iBooks Author tutorial series.